Okay. Sandra! See, they're a great prank or horrible. So, at my house, uh, they like to do fun stuff with birthday presents. So, uh, inside a safe was a series of, uh, a, a series, <laughs> mind you, this, this is only two of, like there's another one here, and I threw another one, yeah, of, of these flat and rail envelopes I had to cut through. And now there's this. I'm not sure if this is real or not. It's sealed in wizard plastic. And it, I thought I saw facts, but I have to open this on camera in case it is or isn't. It very well could be real, and it could be fake, and I have no idea what to think. Okay, it is real. Happy birthday! Yay! Happy birthday! <laughs> you guys will see, uh, <clears throat> sorry, my voice is a little bit on the scratchy side. I've been sick. <clears throat> so, uh, as you saw from the spliced portion, uh, my parents actually did, despite <clears throat> me saying, uh, well, not despite, but... They, they, I, I normally said, eh, don't worry about magic, magic's for me. And my dad went and did a ton of research, he doesn't know, he doesn't play magic at all, and went and bought a booster box of Innistrad for my birthday slash graduation. Um, so, it works out, because there's all sorts of cards from Innistrad that I'm really, really needing, a lot of them actually, and, uh, I'm really much looking forward to it. Innistrad treated me as a, as a great limited set. And blah blah blah. I know you guys just want to see open packs. So, here I am to open packs. Um, so we've got good old Olivia Voldarn. I believe. Was guys the same trapped in Innistrad? I can't remember. I haven't put Innistrad until so long ago. I think it was, actually. Oh, look. I forgot. Flip cards. Held pack of Estwald. So I'm just gonna skip through commons. Um, because otherwise this video will take forever. First uncommon, Ghost Quarter, always nice. Second is Mask of Avacyn. Third, Skier's Dead Cultist, very good limited card, our rare. An Angel of Flight Alabaster. And we have a, a checklist card. Let's actually set this up so that we, that's a little bit further. You can just sort of see the rares as they progress. <clears throat> I apologize if I am coughing a lot. I have been sort of deathly ill of late. And it's not pleasant for anyone. Ooh, look. Card I actually needed. I destroyed all of my Delvers, and I actually need them, so there's a Delver. I shouldn't have destroyed I actually have Delvers somewhere. I didn't actually destroy them. I hate the card. Okay, so our first uncommon, Desperate Ravings. Saw some play. Dissipate, always solid. Another card I was actually looking for. Intangible Virtue, another solid uncommon. Saw some play in our rare. An Evil Twin. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Guys, the trash is in this. A uh, spider token and a checklist card. I don't know what I'm talking about. Why, why would this not have guys that's like trapped in it? So, uh, if you guys saw the beginning of the video, yes, my parents have been known to trick me with many different gifts in the past with how they, um, how they, uh, wrap it. Okay, first uncommon, Slayer of the Wicked. Our second is a Lantern Spirit. Our third, Purify the Grave. And our rare... Isolated Chapel, sick! And we have an Instigator Gang, so double rare pack. But also has an Isolated Chapel, which is a card I need. Like, all of the duels, or all the, they're not duels, all the Innistrad check lands are, uh... Do my best to try to keep this on camera, this is kind of at a weird angle for me. Um, but, ooh, foil in this pack, because there's no... Double foil? No, it's foil land? I know, because there's, the, there's our Unholy Fiend. Could this be the legendary tri- Oh, it could be a double foil pack. I've actually seen that happen once. I'm not sure. Anyway. First uncommon. Ghost Quarter. Our second. Spectral Rider. Our third. Bramble Crusher. Rare. Sweet! Totally needed that. That's a size. Guess it's a draft. With... Oh, and it's a land and a foil plane. Uh, but still. Guys, it's a draft. Awesome. That was... I'm looking for... Oh, I forgot to call it. Okay, well, I'm looking for Guys to Stay Trapped and Liliana of the Veil vale from this box. Um, so, will this break the curse? If there's a Liliana in this box and I hit both of the ones I wanted, that would be absolutely amazing. <sighs> Gastaf Howler with a Gastaf Shepherd as our flip card. This is probably a land or a checklist. Yeah, I forgot about that. Gotta save up those checklist cards. 
Ninja Snake. Oh, if I get a Foil Ambush Viper. That's the third card. I'm not going to get that one. I'm looking so desperately for a Foil Ninja Snake. Demon Mail Hauberk. Scourge of Gyre Reach. Parasailing. And a Lab Maniac. Yeah. Um, looking for... So those of you who know, uh, when Ambush Viper came out, I actually gave it the nickname Ninja Snake. That was, that was the nickname I gave and I always called it it. So far to the point that everyone where I used to play uh, actually called it Ninja Snake. Oh, I saw a foil. First uncommon, Grasp of Phantoms, if I can keep it on camera. Our second Inquisitor's Flail. Our third is Rakshare, a rare. Nefalia Drownyard, sees play in all these Esper, Esper builds right now. We've got a land, a Hanover Watchkeep, and a foil Mausoleum Guard. Pretty spiffy, and a wolf token. But Drownyard's, well, it's Drownyard. Um, a lot of the control decks right now that are playing blue are trying to play, I believe it's Morphling? No, Etherling. That's the one. Ooh, foil. I like foils. Foil Ninja Snake, maybe? Uh, first uncommon. Again, it's very hard for me to try and keep this on camera. Falcon Wrath Noble. Second, a Wreath of Wrath of Wreath. Wreath of Wrath. Full Moon's Rise. Mythic, rare from the Abyss. Didn't see play, but sees a lot of EDH stuff with Kalia. And a foil. Oh, triple rare. Got a Reaper, a Mayor of Aberbrook, and a foiled Mind Shrieker. That's a triple rare pack. That's not terribly common either. Uh, Mayor of Aberbrook's definitely quite good. A foiled Mind Shrieker is also pretty sick. Like, that, that's. These have been good packs. God, in Australia. Treating me well here. Treating me well. Giving me foils and lands and. A card that I thought for the longest time was a typo. Kralin Horde Wontons. I, for the longest time, I have someone who made an altar of this that has them scream, they're gurring on this side and screaming on this side, we are not typos! Uh -uh. Oh, Brimstone Volley. Probably the best common in the set. Harvest Fire also saw some, see some play with Boris Reckoner. We have a Village Cannibals, Wreath the Geist, Tribute to Hunger, another sack effect, a rare, Heartless Summoning. I have my playset, I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing with them. I was going to build the deck, and then I saw a new list that I really want to try out for standard season. Um, so we'll see how that goes. I mean, it got me guys to say draft. And foil flames. And ice age. Like, this box has already been really cool. Oh, well. That's that's a foil howl, howl pack of Estwald, which, as any time I open a foil card, it's a hyperbolic paraboloid. So the other foils curve and form uh, like a cylinder, or not, it's not a cylinder, it's a, oh my god, it's a cylindrical paraboloid? Anyway, th this, this one, because it's foiled on both sides, it bends both ways, so if you grab opposite corners, it curves in a different way, so it's a hyperbolic paraboloid, but it's a foil villagers of Estwald. Okay, I've done with my nerdiness. Not really. Uh, we have a Curse of the Nightly Hunt, an Unburial Rites, always solid, Hollowhenge Scavenger, and another Angel of Flight Alabasta. Get to hang it over there with the other one. Oh no, I got the sniffles. But I'm only like a third of the wow, I'm only like a third of the way through the box. That's sick. Actually, I never owned a Liliana at any point. I always traded them off. And I realized I needed one for the cube and for other reasons. Uh, so we have an Into Zima of Hell, a Moan of the Unhallowed, a Battle on Grace, and a rare is a Curse of Stalked Prey with an open walled Mystics as our flip card. Uh, yeah, nothing's covering up that guy's say draft. I guess he's gonna live forever in a deck. I have one in my cube, and that's the second one, so that's that's a sizable chunk of change left. Ooh, look, another foil. Wow, I don't get many foils in boxes either. Like this, I'm very content. Uh, so we have a diagraph cool, solid two or one drop, have two drop. Falgrove Noble, Hollow Edge Scavenger, and a Rune Chanter Spike. Which saw some amount of play in our... Oh, no, we have a Tormented Pariah and a Land. Not a Foil. Ah, uh, they just keep confusing me. I used to know what was going on. Actually, I didn't. Innistrad turned weird. Which ones had Foils, which ones where the Lands were stuck. Like, I just give up. Oh. Well, Thraven Militia with a Thraven Sentry. Do, 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 do. Another Brimstone Volley. Our first uncommon is a Spectral Rider. Our second is Make-A-Wish. Good old Invisible Stalker. 
god. And a rare is a parallel lives. And a homunculus token. Yeah, invisible soccer, that's a card. You either you either play it and win and then people cry and like Bantora sort of thing or So we have First Uncommon, Curiosity. Our second is Lantern Spirit. Our third is Geist Catcher Drake. And a Nevermore is our rare with a Tormented Pariah. Yeah, Huntmaster of Fells, I know it's in Dark Ascension. That one I know. Oh, Snapcaster Mage is also in Innistrad. What? I've been so out of the loop. Jeez, I have. Ah. Oh, I, I haven't gone to crack Innistrad packs in a while, in case you haven't noticed. Maybe we get a Snapcaster Mage, too. Is that Dark Ascension? I don't think that's Dark Ascension. Uh, we have a Lumbernaut, a Bitterheart Witch, an Intangible Virtue, and a Sturmgeist with a Villagers of Eswald and a Demon Token. Yeah, you can tell I haven't opened a bit of Innistrad in a little bit. Got co sort of sucked up with Dragon's Maze stuff. I thought a Snapcaster would also be sick. Well, let's just let's stop calling stuff, because... Oh, well, we already have a rare. Good old Daybreak Ranger Nightfall Predator. People said it was going to... Or people like Kibler said it was going to be really good, and then they bought a ton of them, and then they didn't do as well. They are decent Delver for Hayden. Uh, Burning Vengeance, Avatar Ghoul, Riley the Peasants, and a creepy doll. It's so creepy. So creepy. Don't stare too long at it. <clears throat> I think we're about halfway through the box now. We have a Tormented Pariah Rampaging Wellwolf as our flip card. Ninja Snake! Uh, first Uncommon, Memories Journey. Second is Hamlet Captain. Our third is another Tribute Hunger in our rare. Another nice land I needed. A Clifftop Retreat. Always nice to pick up those, those lands, especially since they are picking up a pretty penny right now. Oh, land or foil? Land. I think if you have two, then you definitely have a foil. Our first uncommon, one of my favorites to play with, Butcher's Cleaver. Second is Skier's Eye Cultist. Third is Cellador and a rare. Unbreathing Horde. It doesn't breathe, man. It doesn't breathe. We did get the cool uh, Death Touch Wolf token, though. I'm not sure if that was the mythic token of the set. I, I think the angel was the mythic token of the set for the guys in the draft. There's a one token that you get. I think it's one every six boxes or something like that. It's actually kind of hysterical that they make it rare. We have a bane of handwear and a handwear watch. Watch keep as our flippy flip. First uncommon memories journey. Desperate ravings. Moan of the Unhallowed, and a Devil's Play. Solid card. Uh, so, Cecil, I mean, it's really good in Cube. I like it. I like it a lot in Cube. In the Control America, or control, like, red-based control decks. Um, just because we can do some really fun finishing stuff. Uh, ooh, oh, another Delver. He delves so hard. And sometimes beats you in the face for three. Um... First Uncommon, Grasp of Phantoms. Second, Mask of Abyssin. Third, Gallows War, and a rare. And another Isolated Chapel. Nice. Look at that. Double Isolated Chapel, too. Did start hitting doubles? Did we get a double print run or something? I wouldn't mind a second Geyser Saint Trap if that was in it, but I don't think that's how the Mythic Track worked. I'm not sure. Oh. We got the 3-2 guy who's upside down. That's right. You can't read him. He's upside down. Ha 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 ha. Okay. First uncommon. Scab Goliath. Then a Burning Vengeance. Murder of Crows. And a Charmbreaker Devils. I have a giant hatred of this card. Not because it's bad or anything, but because it knocked me out of a PTQ. Um, I got locked. With Charmbreaker Devils and Grasp of Phantoms as his only or as his only spell in the graveyard, so he would just keep doing that and killing me, and it was not pleasant. Uh, first on coming, Dissipate, always nice to pick up. Uh, Trepanation Blade, Scourge of Reach, and a rare Township. It ships some towns. Oh, there's a foil. There's a foil Battleground guy. 
Don't worry. Ships Towns. <sighs> Gabby Touch is a good card. I like it. Um, I used to play decks with it a lot. We have uh, the, the Village Iron Smith Iron Fang as our flip card. Which is okay in limited. First uncommon Slayer of the Wicked. And then Trepanation Blade. A Rage Throw and a Rare is an Elite Inquisitor. Used to be somewhat sideboardable against um, against zombies, just because pro zombies is is a thing. Oh right, I should probably open this on camera. Good job, good job, Mr. Lubufu. A plus gold star. First uncommon disciple Gristlebrand. Second is Bonard Worm. Then Galakor and a rare is a Geist Honored Monk. I mean, it's it's like Cloud Good Ranger, something like that. This was probably a little bit outdone by. Uh, Sign of V2Gazi, but don't forget, don't forget Guys on Monk. It's all play. I played it quite a bit in uh, Green White Tokens Aggro build ish. Okay, so either a land or a check off card thinking, ooh, or a foil. I saw that, I see the foil. Do you see the foil? Right there, uh, on the left, right there. Oh, oh, there you go. Um, first uncommon, Sharp and Pitch Folk, then a Bone Bo Bo Reaver, then Murder of Crows, then a Witch Bane Orb, which I actually needed because it's Sideboard against Esper. Village of Vestwald and a Foil Night Revelers. Revel. Revel in the night. Or rebel in the night. Or bell in the re in the bull. In the night. Okay, that one didn't work out so well. I'm sleep deprived, okay? Cut me some slack, man. Oh, look. Our first, uh, first, uh, uh skittering, screeching bat thing flip card. Ninja Snake! Uh, first uncommon, Fiend Hunter. Sees play in Humaninator. Guys catches rig. More Corrupt Banshee and a rare. Another duel. Nice! I also needed, I also needed Hinterland Harbor too, so. That's, that's four duels, a, uh, a Guys to St. Traft. That's not bad already. Plus, plus this other sort of value cards. Still have some packs to go, too. This is a pretty sick box. I'm, I'm very happy with it. Oh, look! We got we got our, our good old civilized scholar. I need to get one of these signed by LSV too. There's a few cards I have to get signed. Uh, ninja snake? Ninja, no ninja snake. First uncommon, the ghoul of diagraph, and make a wish, an avatar ghoul and a rare. Well, always solid champion of the parish. Can never say no. Never say no to as big as I've seen champions go as high as eight eights. I've seen I've seen eight eight champion. Before enchantments and otherwise made it stupid, stupidly bigger. I mean, oh, uh, three bit century. I'm gonna sneeze. I don't want to sneeze. No, you do not have permission to sneeze. Ninja snake. <clears throat> First uncommon mausoleum guard, midnight haunting, silver lady dagger, a rare mythic, but it's an essence of the wild. So that's I believe our third mythic. So we're short one. I'll probably hit one more before we get to the bottom of the box. Hopefully it's a lily. But, uh, we got a guy to say trap. Like, that one, that one I need a lot more. Oh, look! Upside down Krellin Horde wontons. Like, uh, first uncommon, Lumbernaut. Then Village Cannibals. Then Celador and a rare. Skeers like High Priest, which has seen some play. Um, you know, <clears throat> Uh, the, the, the aristocrats. That's the one. Because getting five five for free seems good. Ooh, ooh, I see a foil. It's green. Could it be Ninja Snake? Has has it been avoiding me for so long? Rolling Trembler. Another Purify the Grave. Nice. Another Invisible Stalker. A rare. Creeping Renaissance. Oh, it's a Kinder Catch. So close. It's a green foil common. Ah, oh, so close. So close to Foil Ninja Snake, and yet so very, very, very far. Yeah, we still have, seems like, uh, this is pack number seven left. So, countdown, seven packs left. Oh, look, Delver! I hate this card. Delver knocked me out of a, of a, out of my top eight PTQ, along with Geist of St. Trap, oddly enough. Uh, maybe that's why that's the first Geist I think I've actually opened. We have a Curiosity. A spider squadron, Galvanic Token Lot, Stony Silence is our rare. Wah, wah. I actually love this card in Limited. 
He jugs all the knobs. Or rather, he's the chugger knob, bitch. Sorry. I'm done. I apologize. I would, if I had the original Juggernaut, I'd also make that joke, but that hasn't been reprinted in a little bit, so. Our first uncommon, Bitter Heart Witch. Another Fiend Hunter, a Bramble Crush, and our rare, Snappy! Yay! I love you, Snapcaster Mage! And a f Ooh. Hyperbolic Paraboloid! Wow. I thought the nerdiness was done. I didn't think I'd get another foil uh, flip card, but... Sick. Okay. This box turned... Turned really nice. Snapcaster Geist, four duels, and still five packs to go. So, lower number of Mythics thus far, but you know what? Solid box. This one came from the internet, too, so. Inter the internet's treated me well with stuff. It's also where I got my uh, best fat pack ever video. Shameless plug, shameless plug. Uh, first uncommon, sharpened pitchfork. Inquisitor. Flail, Rakuchair, and a rare Heretic Swatcher. I used to first pick this card so often and win so much, people would get mad at me, because then I'd, they'd like pass it, and I'd get it fifth pick, and then I'd kill them with it, and then they'd be like, why are you killing me with such a bad rare? And I'd be like, it's so good limited, you just die. And just die on a card. Like, target player wins the game. Oh, oh that's a Ludovic test subject. Beek. That's our flip. Target player loses the game is, is, an, is a powerful effect. Uh, Curse of the Nightly Hunt, Runic Repetition, Graveyard Shovel, and a Rooftop Storm. By the way, if you ever print or make a proxy of a card that says target player loses the game, make sure you are playing alongside someone so you can point next to them and say, you, you lose the game. Even if they're playing some completely different format. First one common, Midnight Haunting, Graveyard Shovel, Silver Lady Dagger, a rare, Stromkirk Noble, nice. We got a Flip Reckless Wave and a Foil Markov Patrician. <sighs> Two left. Two left. No Lily still, but I got a Geist. Like, I'm so happy about the Geist. Civilized Scholar. <clears throat> Our uncommons are Hamlet Captain, Morcorp Banshee, Gilbank Juggernaut, Lilian of the Veil! Okay. Curse, you have been broken. Did I just open the three the three big cards of the set? Lily, Guy, Snappy. Get on camera, you three. Look at that. Okay. Done. Curse, broken. It says my box of Dark Ascension, which was the first box I opened in... On my channel, I would call one card and not open any of it. I was hoping for um, when the set came out for Dark Ascension, I was looking for Sorens. I opened Hunt Masters. For Avacyn Restored, I was looking for Tamios and Entreat the Angels. I think I got one Entreat, but no Tamios. It was a really bad box. I didn't open one for M13. Uh, Return to Ravnica, I don't even remember what I wanted. I didn't get those. Many shocks, I think it was. Gate Crash was also pretty bad, and Dragon's Maze, I wanted voices. You can watch all those videos. Anyway, last pack. Ah, let's see what it offers. Apart from, you know, the finality to an awesome, awesome booster box. Well, it's got a Thraven Sentry Militia thing. Ah. First uncommon, a um, burial rites, then a rolling tremor, then a parasailing Astensia blood hall. Wah, wah. Ah well, this was oh, pfft, apart from me whacking my camera. Um, so yeah, big things of this box: Snapcaster, Geist, Lily, Dual, Double Isolated Chapel, and a Hinterland Harbor. Like. Those seven right there are already pretty big. You can't forget, there's Stromkirk Noble that scatters in here. There's a Champion of the Parish right over here. Among other things, like, this is pretty saucy for a booster box. I'm, I'm quite happy with this. That Liliana is not for trade. Don't ask me. I finally get to stick one into my cube. The Snapcaster and Geist are also not for trade. Because I need them both for decks. So this was awesome. Thank you all for watching. Thank you to my parents uh, for 
who did a massive amount of research to um, to see which ones I hadn't opened yet, which were good. Like, I would not be so my my dad so saying. God, magic is so complicated in the sense of like there's just so many like I don't even want to know how many forums he searched and etc. But thank you all for watching. Um, I am now probably going to record one other video on my birthday, but then I'm gonna go sleep. That sleep sounds really nice. Thank you all for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe.